Okay, in order to access your online um, platform to continue with your learning, you'll want to go to hdsb.elearningontario.ca and it'll bring you to a home site. Any courses that you are registered in will pop up and you click on the waffle and you will find the course that you are in. So this is the course um, code for the math. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to then click on where it says content and it will drop down with the units of study. So this is probably the best way to go about um, accessing the content. You would want to start off at unit three and you're going to notice that all of this information um, pops up and it takes you um, with an overview of what the course is about and the content is where you will start to find some information as well. Um, so you'll have to go through sort of each section and sometimes there's videos embedded within. Here's a long description. So you'll have to click through some of those um, little links embedded, okay? And then there's some practice um, for you to do as well. The other thing that you'll want to make note of is in order to turn in an assignment, you'll notice that it'll say assignment and it wants you to complete that. So when you go to assessments, there's something called the Dropbox and there's quizzes. So if you click on the Dropbox, it will bring you to all the assignments required for each unit. You will be starting off at unit three and these are the assignments. What you'll want to do is click on that assignment and if you want to add a file, you can do that. And your file you would access from your computer or one that you maybe saved to the drive. And um, you can do that before you are done. If you want to type in any information right here, you can do that. You can also record yourself, um, you know, just um, uh, audio or video of yourself um, if you need to explain any information and then don't forget to click the submit button as well. As well in the assessment area there's a quiz button and you'll notice that there are some quizzes um, for the different units so in the unit three there is one quiz that needs to be done and that would be released to you at that time as well. So I'm hoping that this um, doesn't seem too overwhelming for you. Um, it's one method that you can certainly explore in order to continue with your learning in the course. So all the best to you and um, keep in touch.